The, the court said um, the opposition did not bring any credible evidence before it to confirm that indeed the ruling party won uh, fraudulently the July 30th election. So they said the, the, the ruling, the declaration by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission that President Emerson Mnanga won the election stands and uh, nothing uh, should go in the way of the opposition. And, and you were outside the court. What's been in the reaction to the news? Basically, I would say there isn't much in terms of excitement. Uh, we haven't seen any people hooting or any excitement so far. But uh, the opposition are still digging in. They're saying the, the roads to justice haven't been closed. They still want to approach the streets, as, as they say, the, the public court of opinion. They're saying they're going to meet as, a, as leadership on, on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday and map the way forward. And they said, we are not ruling more protests to ensure that they, they are, their wish and they are, their will to, to, to run this country prevails. But does the MDC have any recourse? Legally, no, they don't have. The, the, the ruling by the Zimbabwe Constitution is, is the final one, and um, they just have to, legally, they have to wait for the next election, which is, is due in five years' time. So, basically, for them, they're saying, we hope to protest and get international attention, probably bring um, President Mnangagwa and the, on the, on the opposition to a table and share power. And do we know when Amos Mnangagwa will be inaugurated? Yes. In, in terms of Zimbabwe's constitution, once this uh, determination has been made, the swearing-in and inauguration has to be done within 48 hours, meaning to say by Sunday, Zimbabwe's uh, number one position will have been uh, sealed for the next five years, unless something happens.